every day is a new day for, for the, in the beer business. It's, it's fun. You know, I've never considered it a, a job as much as it's what I do. My favorite part of my job is building relationships with our customers. When I get up in the morning, it's already thinking, what am I going to do today? I am very blessed to be where I'm at, and I couldn't think of working anywhere else. We'll always be a family company who is rooted in their community. We started out with just one county, and we're now in uh, 35 counties uh, across South Texas, West Texas, and uh, some in New Mexico as well. The community is, is, I think, what makes us different. We are involved in hundreds of organizations throughout the state. If you make money in this community, you owe this community something back. And that was also my father's opinion. You know, my father is, is, is not working in the business anymore. He still comes in to work every day, but it's amazing how many people respect him and how many people really admired him for his business and his truthfulness and the fact that he was so devoted to the community. I, I think, you know, that's a great legacy to leave. It is really important for us to continue to give back to the community because you have to have your community grow with you. And the only way that you can have a community grow with you is if you invest in it. One of the biggest ways that we've been able to give back to our communities is through education. Oh, yeah. Something that we're the most known for as far as being involved in our communities is the Star Scholarship Foundation. We talked to Ann Hodge Bush and they were actually the one that suggested us starting up our own scholarship fund. We live in these communities and we want our communities to do well and to, and to prosper. And, and helping educate the next generation is what's going to push us forward. We've given out $30 million worth of scholarships. Something like, I don't know, 18,000 kids going to college. You know, we've been doing this now for 14 years. And it has been a, a tremendous experience with the community because the community has embraced it. I, I think that you need to be involved in your community. You need to give back to your community. It, it's a great program. It takes a lot of work and it's a lot of extra time, but um, we definitely think it's worthwhile. LNF is a great company and, and I feel like it will continue to always be a great company but that's not going to happen without a lot of hard work, creativity, uh, making sure that we're overcoming obstacles. It all got started uh, about the time I got out of college, graduated college. And that was about the year in that time frame when Dad bought his first uh, distributorship here in McAllen. Uh, it was like seven employees or something. I met a guy the other day, I think he was the third generation to work for us. And a lot of people have been here a long time. And a lot of people, their brothers come in, or their sons come in, or their cousins come in, they're referred to. So it's really not just this family, it's kind of a lot of different families that are involved. Well, it's great to, to think that, that they still want to contribute and be part of the LNF family. And it's great for us because, you know, the employees are what make it all work. In the early days of LNF, it was a lot smaller environment, uh, uh, obviously a lot fewer people. We didn't have as many branches that we have today. I've been a part of the LNF family for just over 30 years now. Uh, LNF family, when it first started, I was uh, fortunate to come aboard. That was in 1978, so uh, I, I'm glad that they still believe in me and what I'm doing. One of the most important parts is, is, is the culture that we try and foster every day. Oh, well, I mean, I would say that I am a, uh, definitely a product of my environment. The majority of my lessons that I've learned came from, from the people that I worked with every day. We're, we're a community, we're a family. We'll, you know, we won't be where we want to be if, if we don't have good people taking care of each other, taking care of our consumers and our retailers. have to expand your perception so that you have the ability to rely on good people make the appropriate decisions. You know, 
it, it's great when you can develop that kind of a relationship because you can't do it all yourself. It's an industry that I wouldn't change for anything. It's something that I, I really enjoyed every every minute of it. And uh, you know, from the warehouse staff to the drivers and administrative staff, the sales department, everybody adds a little piece. I've made a lot of friends throughout these 25 years. I've enjoyed every day of it, and uh, it's just a fun business to be in. My favorite part of my job is building relationships with our customers. Making friends is our business. Our industry is relationships, right? At the end of the day, we need to make sure that we're doing right by the customer, make, taking care of the customer, and taking care of the employees. If we don't have those two, we got nothing else. So relationships are, are the industry. I never thought, I never thought I'd be working for this great company. And uh, it's just been great. It's been a blessing and it's all about relationships. We here at LNF, I and mean, we we all consider it family. So everybody that knows De La Matias and Parsons, he knows that they're family. They're all about family. When you came aboard, you came to Budweiser because all you would hear is how they were treated their employees. They have this like inner fire within them that they're constantly trying to like better themselves and. You know, it doesn't matter how big or small the task is, they always go in 110%. And that's what I think separates a lot of our guys from some of our competitors. It's funny you say that because uh, I used to work for a competitor. And you look at Budweiser people, the way they carry themselves, you go, man, I want to be like that one these days. And the opportunity came to uh, come in. I am very blessed to be where I'm at. And I couldn't think of working anywhere else. 27 years for the company. Employees are important to this company. Without them, we would not be uh, also where we're at now. It's one of those companies that, you know, people want to be here. And you want to work for a family that treats you like family. Humble, honest, and aggressive. We try to instill that in all of our employees, from the new hires to even the guys that have been here, you know, two, three, or more years. I mean, we really believe in that. Oh, I, I, you know, everybody talks about it being the company's motto. I, I think it was more of an instilled philosophy uh, by our father, both in business and in his personal life. I, I think that that philosophy, those words, uh, were his philosophy long before they were up on a wall somewhere. And I think that he instilled that in his family and just as importantly, he instilled that in his business and it became the model, not they were words that we thought of. Those were things that were already there. I, I never thought I would be in this position in a company like this. It's a lot of fun being in this industry, and it's a lot of fun being able to work with your brother and your cousins every day. You know, that's, that's something that, that, that many people wish for, and, and I'm very blessed to have it. We are very blessed to have it. It, it, it's an environment that you like to be in, and you're willing to help. It has its times that it's complicated and so on, but it's also a challenge challenge and fun, can't have much better than that. If you enjoy your job, you will never have to work a day in your life. And that's why I try to inject into these guys. Enjoy what you do. We have the best product, Anheuser-Busch product, and now the best craft beers, and, and now we're into wine. And But you need, still need people. It's tough out there. It's not just the product that sells itself. It's the people that go out there and, and sell it for us. And we've got a lot of employees who, who, uh, who are really, really good and really smart employees. I just hard work and we've got a lot of very bright, bright employees, so. It's, uh, it's been a privilege of mine taking on the responsibility of being a general manager. We've done a good job of positioning ourselves to be a different type of distributor compared to some of the other guys that are out there. No matter where you are or what you're doing, if you work for LNF, you should feel a sense of place, 
certainly a sense of love, a sense of well-being. I think that, that people matter, and I hope that that is something that comes across. In LNF, La Mantilla, and family, you become the family, and you just get so drawn into all those amazing values. So it's been a pleasure and an honor working for the La Mantilla and Paisan family. Cheers to 40 years. Thank you all for all the help that you've done, and we're ready for another 40 years. I will say thank you to the employees, thank you to the customers, my family, um, and everybody else out there. Thank you very, very much. I'll take another natural. I, you know, congratulations to all the employees that actually made this 40 years. Not us, but all those people that did it. Uh, because it wasn't us, we were, we were part of it, but very limited in, in the part of it. It's mostly our employees and partners that, that brought us forward. Um, so, 40 years. Here's to 40 years. Thank you. Cheers to 40 years in the beer business. Cheers for 40 years. Here's to another 40 years. Cheers to 40 years, guys. Cheers to you all. This butt's for you. Salud. Cheers to another 40 years. Cheers to 40 years. We would not be in this position, and you would not be celebrating 40 years without you. And hopefully, another 40 years moving forward.